Hello and welcome to another AdPuzzle video tutorial. Last time we've looked at AdPuzzle, user interface and navigation. In today's tutorial you will learn how to create your own AdPuzzle video. If for some reason you've missed the first part where we've uh, set up our account, I will leave the link in the description. In today's tutorial you will learn how to create your own AdPuzzle video. So first of all, let's define what is an ad puzzle video. An ad puzzle video is a video clip that has questions or comments or voiceovers that you create. And when your students watch this video, they will need to interact. They will need to answer those questions or uh, listen to the voiceover. Basically, there are three ways how you can create an ad puzzle video. The first one is to upload your own video that you created. Maybe you recorded your screen maybe you recorded your own lecture and then embed your questions in this video. The second type is to find a video that is already on AdPuzzle. Maybe there is a video on YouTube or on another website that you can use for your lesson. You will simply embed your questions in the video that you found on the internet. The third method is to find AdPuzzle video that is a video that already has questions and maybe add more questions or maybe remove some of the questions. So three ways. Let's have a look at which one of the ways one at a time. We're going to start by uploading our own video and then creating an ad puzzle out of this video or creating questions in this video. Once you logged into the ad puzzle, go to my content. From here, click add content upload a video from here choose a file my file is located on my desktop and it's called screen recording i'm going to select this file and click open edpuzzle will show me that it is now uploading my screen recording how much time it will take for an edpuzzle to upload your screen recording or any video from your computer depends on two things first the speed of your internet and the second thing is how large is the file. Now when my file has been uploaded onto the AdPuzzle, if I go to my content and scroll a little bit down, you will see that now this file is right here and it's now preparing. So it is uploaded, but it still takes a little bit of time for AdPuzzle to process the video clip that you've uploaded. While our video is being processed, let's have a look at the second way how you can create ad puzzle video. And in the second way, we basically take a video clip from the ad puzzle and embed our questions or comments, our voiceovers. There are many ways how you can find a clip that you like. You can search for those clips or go to some of the popular channels. So let's imagine that I'm looking for a video on a water cycle. Once I've done that, ad puzzle will show me different kind of video clips. Those video clips are from AdPuzzle and they already have questions in them. Those icons here will tell me that this clip, for example, has 12 questions already. This one has eight. If I scroll a little bit down, I'll find the same clips, but sourced from the YouTube and those clips do not have any questions. So let's say I like this video and I would like to use it for my ad puzzle. To do that, I will click on it. Now we are in the preview mode. Uh, we can see the video in the middle. And as you can see, there are no questions yet. For you to be able to add questions to this video clip, you need to either click copy, which will make a copy in your content. And from there, you will be able to edit this video clip or click edit. Once you click edit, ad puzzle will automatically make a copy of this video put it in your content and bring you to the editor. I personally like to click edit because it's an easier way to start editing. Welcome to your AdPuzzle editor. Let's have a look at the user interface first. At the top, you see three main editing tools that you can apply to this video clip. First is cut, voiceover and questions. Cut basically means that you can trim the video clip either from the beginning or from the end. But let's assume that I don't need the entire clip. I need to trim it a little bit from the beginning and a little bit from the end. To do that, simply drag the beginning of the clip to the point where you would like to start. Now we trim the clip to only this part right here. Once you've trimmed your clip, you can move the play hat that looks like black needle to me and play your clip. So to see what is left of the clip 
and what is it that you will be editing. You don't have to cut the clip. If you would like to use the clip at its full length, you can skip the cut step. So let's move ahead and talk about voiceover. VoiceOver will enable you to talk over this video. If you click Start Recording, most likely your browser will ask you to use the microphone. Once you've enabled your browser to use the microphone of your computer, go to the part of the clip where you would like to add your VoiceOver and click Start Recording. So once I've done that, two things are happening. First of all, the video clip is playing, and at the same time, my voice is being recorded over the video clip. Once you've done, click Stop Recording. Once your recording has been processed, you can see two things. First, you can play back your recording. Second thing, you will see this yellow voiceover, and this is part of the clip where there is a clip and a voiceover. If you would like to add another voiceover, again, find a portion of the clip where you would like to start and click Start Recording. Adpuzzle will start playing the clip and also recording your voice. Once you finished, click Stop Recording. Now I have two recordings. One is right here, another one is right here. The numbers to the left of the recording will tell you where will your voiceover start. This voiceover starts at 7 seconds, right here. If you would like your voiceover to start a little bit later, you can move this voiceover further into the clip and you will see how this number will change as well. If you want to delete your voiceover, you're not happy with it, you would like to redo it, simply click on a trash can icon. Third thing that you can do with your video clip is to add questions. There are three types of things that you can add to your ad puzzle. The first one is multiple choice question. The second one is open-ended question. And finally, there is a note. To add a multiple choice to your video clip, simply navigate to the portion of the video clip where you would like to add multiple choice question. Once you're there, click multiple choice. Adpuzzle will ask you to type your multiple choice question here. Now you can customize your question, make some of the words bold or make some of them underlined. You can even add hyperlinks images or even insert equations so once your question is ready it's time to write down answers remember to tell adpuzzle which of these answers is correct and which one of them incorrect in my case answer a is correct and answer b is incorrect if you would like to add another question click add another choice and select whether it's correct or incorrect answer. Once you finish editing your multiple choice question, click save. And now our multiple choice question is embedded into this video clip. You will see a little icon show up on the video. You can adjust the place where this question will appear. So if you move it a little bit to the left, now when students reach this point of the clip, they'll be prompted to answer the question. Because we are in teacher's mode, we can see that answer A is correct. You can always go back to editing or delete this question altogether. Once you're sure that this is the place where you want this question to be, your question is correct and all the answers are present, click continue. So now we have one multiple choice question that will appear at this portion of the clip. Why don't we try and add an open-ended question? Let's move to another part of the clip and click open-ended question. Unlike multiple choice question, all you need to insert an open-ended question is the question itself. Once you're ready, click save. Now we have our open-ended question right here. And again, you can adjust where this open question will show up. Once the position of your question is ready, click continue. Now we have one open-ended question here. We have a multiple choice question here. The last thing that we can add is a note. Drag to the end of the clip and click note. There are two ways you can add a note. You can either type your note or you can leave a little voice note by clicking on this microphone. First thing that Adpuzzle will ask you to do is enable uh, Google Chrome and Adpuzzle to use your microphone. We've already done that when we recorded voiceover. So right now Adpuzzle is simply recording my microphone. Once you finish recording your audio note, click on stop sign. If you would like to play back your recording, you can click on this icon. So once everything looks good, once you have your note here and your voice note here, click save. If you would like to move your note to another position, you can do that now. Once you make sure that the note is ready, click continue. 
So now our clip has one note, it has one open-ended question, and it also has one multiple choice question. And you can add more than one question of each kind. If you would like to add another multiple choice question, simply drag the playhead, this little dot, to the portion of the clip where you would like to add a question, then select the question type that you would like to embed, and then go through the steps that I've demonstrated before. Once you are, have all the questions in place, click Finish. And we are back to the viewer. From here, we can now assign this video clip to our students, but this is going to be our topic for the next tutorial. Now, our screen recording also has been processed, and we can now edit this. To edit or to add questions to your screen recording, simply click on it. This will take you to the viewer first. To add questions, click on Edit. First, you can either cut or trim your recording, your screen recording, either from the beginning or from the end, you can add voiceover or you can start adding questions. As you see, there's no much difference uh, when you start adding questions to the video that you found on the ad puzzle or adding questions to the video that you uploaded yourself. Now we have two video clips in our content. First one, we uploaded from our computer that is called screen recording. It doesn't have any questions yet. Another video we found on the ad puzzle and we had three questions there. Now the last way how you can create ad puzzle video clips is to find ad puzzle clips that already have questions and maybe edit them slightly or change them slightly. Now let's see how we can do that. Uh, let's again search for motorcycle and you can notice that clips that have questions in them already have the sign and number next to it. This video has four questions and if you would like to see what these questions are and maybe edit them, click on this video clip. This will take you to the previewer where you can preview the clip and see where the questions are and what this question are. If I click on the first question, preview will take me to the first multiple choice question. I can skip this question and go to the next one. Let's assume that I like this video clip and uh, I might use it for my students. To do that, two options. Either click edit, which will make a copy and put it in your content where you can edit this, or click copy, which will simply create a copy, but will not take you to the editor. Last time we click edit, and that took us to the editor. So now let's click on copy. When you click on copy, Adpuzzle will simply tell you that you have a now copy in your content. I have this clip in my content, water cycle with four questions. I will click on it and click edit. And much like what happened last time, first thing you can do with this clip is cut it first, do the voiceover, or go to the questions. Because this clip already has some of the questions, I can now either add more questions or edit existing questions. If I click on the first question in which I can edit or I can delete it completely, to edit the existing question, click on the pencil. Now this will bring me to the multiple choice question editor where I can edit the question, I can edit answers, maybe add another one. Maybe I want to delete one of the choices. Maybe this is something that my students don't know yet. Once I've edited the question, I'll click save. This should look familiar to you now. This is the Add Puzzle editor where you can add more questions or edit existing questions or maybe remove some of them. Today you have learned how to create your Add Puzzle videos, videos that have voiceovers, questions, comments, or open-ended questions. If you have any questions about the materials that we've talked about today, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. In the next part, we're going to have a look at how to create your class and invite students. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.